That brings up another question. You're 75 years old, and I want to have the energy you have. I want to have the energy you have now at 33 years old. Right. And uh, here you are doing that. How, how do you keep that energy? I think three things. Number one, I've done a lot of personal work on myself. And when you don't have a lot of internal blocks, fears, limiting beliefs, then energy flows. There's no resistance. You don't tire out as quickly. I meditate regularly. So I think that's important. I get enough sleep. I eat healthy, you know, like mostly organic food. I don't try to not overeat. Uh, I do drink alcohol like wine. I do my best not to overdo that, you know, maybe one or two nights a week. And um, I don't know. My wife calls me the Energizer Bunny. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the thing mm-hmm. that never stop ticking, you know, in those ever-ready batteries. I, I just... Um, I think I'm so excited about life. I just want to get up and live it and experience the joy of it. I would say I live in joy. That's that's probably, that's probably, and I don't resist reality. A lot of people, a lot of people resist the way things are. You know, President Trump shouldn't have said that. This people shouldn't have done that. You know, the cops shouldn't have done that. And 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 all those things we can have judgments about, and they're probably correct in some way. But the reality is, they just happened. They're 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 gone. Even a minute ago, it's over, mm-hmm. you know. And so, if I sit there and spend my time resenting that, being angry about it, being ticked off about it, um, being scared about it, that eats up my energy. And so, it's like if you and I stood up and we started pushing on each other as hard as we could, we would get tired much faster than just sitting here. <laughs> yeah. And so, if you're resisting reality, you're resisting your own emotions, you're resisting the way your parents parented you, whatever. What happens is you're going to get tired faster. Yeah, and so basically, I had a, a woman named a friend named Barbara Marks Hubbard, who died recently in her eighties, and she somewhere in her seventies got really, really, really ill, and she thought everyone thought she was going to die, and so a friend said you go see the shaman in Hawaii, so she went, and what he did was he got her on a, like a massage table and had her lie down, and said I want you to think of anyone you resented or got mad up the last week, now forgive them. Mm. And he took her back week by week, month by month, year by year, all the way to her childhood. It was like three or four or five hours. I forget exactly. But it had been a long time. And, and then the next day, whatever she had was gone. And so when we resist, when we judge, we, we're, we're literally aging ourselves. 